The Australian Museum Eureka Prizes rewards excellence in research and innovation, leadership and commercialisation, science journalism and school science. Now, for a full list of finalists, you can go to our website, but here's just a few of this year's winners. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2013 Eureka Prize for Leadership in Science is Professor Frank Caruso. Our research is about engineering materials um, with nanoscale features so that they can have properties that may impact healthcare. For example, to deliver therapeutics more efficiently with fewer side effects. Winning this award is, is, is great. It's, 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 it's a great recognition for the many students and talented researchers that I've had working in my team over the last 15 years. The winner of the 2013 Macquarie University Eureka Prize for Outstanding Young Researcher is Dr Kerry Wilson. My research is about the impact of global change on biodiversity and deciding which threats are the greatest to biodiversity and how to maximise our gains by allocating resources efficiently. This prize is an absolute surprise and just fabulous. It's a recognition of the research that we do and of the researchers that I work with too. So I, I'm just very happy. And the winner of the 2013 University of New South Wales Eureka Prize for Scientific Research is... Dr. Lars Kerr Nielsen, Professor James McCluskey, and Professor Jamie Rostock. So, we've been studying a set of mate, a cells called mate T cells, the, a very abundant set of lymphocytes that are found at mucosal surfaces in the gut, in the mouth, and the reproductive tract. But until now, nobody knew what they recognised, what triggered them, and what function they played in immunity. And the Eureka, Eureka moment was when Lars Kjell Nielsen discovered that mate cells recognise fragments of vitamin B. And that was a world first discovery. It was a major advance in the field. And it's an advance that we're very excited about. The winner of the 2013 University of Sydney Sleep Geek Science Eureka Prize goes to the Friction Team. Well, our video was about friction and how we explained all the different ways of friction. And it kind of shows um, how you could use friction in, in your daily life. We did friction because it's kind of funny in itself, because of all the sliding and rolling. I'm just shocked. I mean, out of hundreds and hundreds of teams in Australia, we won. It's just very exciting. The winner of the 2013 Caring for Our Country Landcare Eureka Prize for Sustainable Agriculture is the Future Farm Industry CRC Enrich Project Team. We've been trying to develop ways to cope with a really variable climate in Australia so that animal agriculture's got less risk and more profit and at the same time managing the, the land resources better so that it's sustainable into the future as well. And we've drawn on using native plants as the basis for doing that because they're already adapted to our climate. It's a big honour, not just for ourselves, but all the people that have been involved in the project, and there's been many of those and many different groups, and especially all the farmers that have been involved and helped us along the way. Uh, it's been great for them as well. The winner of the 2013 Australian Government Eureka Prize for promoting understanding of Australian science and research is Professor Rob Brooks. My research is all about sex and about the consequences of sex for the lives that animals live as well as the lives that humans live and so you know the most important thing in evolution is reproduction passing on of genes and sex is the way in which we get there so it's amazing how profound the consequences of sex are. In science we don't really have winners and we certainly don't have losers but it's wonderful to have some recognition and that's what the Eureka War prizes do. They uh, recognise some of the good science and it's only a tiny little proportion of the enormous amount of great Australian science. It's wonderful to be here, to be recognised for that, but also just to be among peers and to have a little bit of fun.